explanation. But to the point that was raised directly by you and indirectly by one of the other questions today, is it's actually the ability to add services on top of that infrastructure to help their businesses and their health care and their education make the transition. That's the biggest challenge we face in the developing countries. It's one of the reasons I'm asking WIM in rethinking through our services model. How do you perhaps do this different than before? How perhaps could we have 100 people in Pakistan with only 10 on the ground? and use telepresence and others to have our best people from China and India and the U.S. and Europe <coughs> complement the 10 that we have on the ground and rethinking through those models. Because the problem is usually now not that the government leaders don't understand what's possible or the service providers aren't willing to take part of the risk for combination reasons. It's more can we help them make that transformation quicker. So you just picked a great 